2 Chronicles 13.9 says, Have you not driven out the priests of the Lord, the sons of Aaron and Levites, and made for yourselves priests like the people of the other lands? Whoever comes to consecrate himself with a young bull and seven rams, even he may become a priest of what there are no gods. Well, if you're joining us in reading through this 90-day reading plan, today's reading is 2 Chronicles 13, 4 through 22. I encourage you to read that passage. Today, I'd, I'd like to speak about um, some splinter groups from what could be called normal Christianity. Some of these groups carry with them most of the theology of which we have. However, there are groups that come up with some very unique theological and uh, theological terms that cannot be supported through Scripture. Most of these groups that develop their own theology actually have a two-pronged approach. The first prong is that of a charismatic leader. This leader, over time, causes his followers to believe the things that are contrary to historical Christianity. Things such as special revelation, unique ceremonies, and the idea that his or her group are the restoration of the biblical Christianity. And nobody um, really comes up with something completely new. For example, the idea that the mind controls everything and that we in reality do not exist, but through the mind, comes from ancient Greek religions. It found its way into Christianity in the late 1800s with Mary Baker Eddy. This idea that Jesus is not fully God, which is um, cropped up in the late 1800s, was founded very early in Christianity and settled in 325 AD at the Council of Nicaea. Jehovah's Witnesses, these people, this, uh, carry this theology with them, and some in church history call themselves followers of Arius who developed this theology. Now, what happened in Israel was because Jeroboam knew that if he did not begin his own religion, the people would quickly return to Jerusalem. So he made up a religion based on those other religions surrounding him. I mean, he threw out all the Jewish priests from the land and forced them to go to Jerusalem. Well, modern Christianity has divided into thousands of different denominations, and each one of them claims to hold the biblical truth of the first century. The problem is that not everybody can have the truth and hold competing or different views in their theology. We as Protestants are a break-off group. We as Southern Baptists are a break-off group of a break-off group. And we need to be very careful about what we believe. We need to trust those who came before us in the early church. We do not need to be known as a group of people who will let anyone lead us as long as they have a little bit of studying and a great personality. The scriptures in the church history are key to our correct theological positions. We need to know them, we need to understand them, and then we need to teach them.